Hello everyone, James Romero here at Switchwatch, your home for everything Nintendo Switch related. If you want to stay up to date with all the news and check out the latest game reviews, you might want to consider subscribing. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Cars 3 Driven to Win, a game produced by Avalanche over in the US and released by Warner Bros. Those guys gave us a copy, so thank you very much, so that we could review it and give you our opinion. So, let's not waste any more time. Is the game any good? Let's get into it. This game is very clearly aimed at children, but it's got stiff competition with Mario Kart and Fast RMX. It is found wanting, it has its place and may be right for you if you are big into the series if you've got children. If you do find that this is right after watching this video and you want to pick up a copy, check out our link that's in the description below. As you go into the story, you start with a nice cutscene at the beginning. Actually, I was quite excited at this point. It sees Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez after the final scene of the movie and you're getting ready to take on Jackson Storm to get into the Hall of Fame. It's really actually a nice touch, it's got the original voice actors, but sadly it is the only part in the game with any story. Later on I felt that they've missed an opportunity here to really get the story into the game and get people bought in. Graphically it's a really nice game, the cartoon style obviously ports over really well and on the Nintendo Switch whether you're in handheld mode or on the TV things look good. I would say that some of the tracks can be a little bit dull on the eye, but the characters themselves are fantastically done. Our content with about 130 challenges, each unlocking one of 22 different characters in the game. There are a load of tracks and additional modes that are all unlocked and are aimed at getting you into the Hall of Fame. As you're going through races, you want to be knocking your opponent you want to be performing a bunch of different skills. This is all geared towards boosting your turbo meter and give the game a nice feel, especially when the races can be a bit dull. What you really want to be doing actually is I discovered is driving backwards, jumping and performing a bunch of different skills, drifting around corners and bashing your opponents. These are all performed extremely easily. The controls here aren't complicated. You can do these things with either pushing the right analog stick in one direction or drifting just by holding the A button in the direction you're going in so clearly this is again aimed towards children and whilst this is fun sadly the race in itself feels very slow there's not a lot of challenge here and the tracks themselves aren't very imaginative you don't see much difference between courses and the races there are only three laps but they do feel quite long after a while there are a few different modes the main one is the race mode where you're taking on your opponents around three laps. Nothing hugely out of the ordinary here. It can feel quite nice because you are playing and bashing your opponent as you go around, which gives a little bit of variation. The second mode is the mode where you're just there to knock each other up. In the style of Mario Kart's Battle Arena, but there isn't as much structure. You're actually just on the track, so to get to your opponent and actually knock them. The next mode is Stunt Showcase. This is where you're going around just trying to get as many points from performing tricks. I found this a bit fiddly actually and to get to jump high enough to get some of these points. Not easy. One nice touch is the sound from the game includes tracks from the films, which is great, especially if you've been watching the movies and you're into it. The sounds throughout are quite nice. There are a few sound effects that I particularly liked, but there isn't anything super memorable here overall the sound is fairly solid when we start talking about value and replayability this is where the game can start to fall down sadly it has good unlockable content but there is no online mode and the gameplay does feel repetitive the generic tracks don't help and the fact that you're driving around feet and it feels slow lends itself to making it a bit boring there is no real story and I feel that this is an area that's a bit lacking. The game is full retail price and so it doesn't really offer you good value. I think perhaps for children who are going to play every single inch of the game and a huge fan of the series, there might be some value but for everyone else, there isn't the value here. Overall for me, this is a 5. It's not a bad game, it's a good effort at a movie franchise. and. I do think that children in particular are going to enjoy it and are going to be a lot more forgiving and actually may enjoy the particularly easy controls. For everyone else, sadly, I can't really recommend it. 
the price point is high for this quality of game. Let us know if you do pick up a copy of the game, as I mentioned before, there's a link down below if you do want to pick up a copy. If you have it, let us know your thoughts, and if you do like this video, we'd love to see you hit that like button. If, like us, you really want to play all of the best Switch games around, do consider subscribing. Love to see you again. Thank you very much.